can withstand the crushing attack of Nowful Iron Leg. Perfect balance of speed and power, Belgian Hercules Aziz Katu. Aziz Katu versus Nafal Iron Leg. So who will join Yushid in the next round? Will it be Azi Katu? Or will it be the man known as Iron Leg? We will find out next. Katu making his way to the K1 ring. The former WAKO World Heavyweight Champion. 52 and four, has 40 knockouts. A very dangerous fighter. Ernesto, he uh, actually, I'm sorry, this is Iron Leg coming out. Let me correct yeah. that. Yeah. He's 11 and one as a professional. The IMTF World Champion, part of the Golden Glory fight team, which is a very well-respected fight team. No foul yeah. making his way. I really uh, wonder what he is capable of. I don't know him. I never heard of him. And uh, I don't think uh, he's there. He's in there, in there for nothing, so. Here comes Katu, as we mentioned earlier. 52 and four has 40 knockouts. <laughs> and he recently uh, beat Francois Bolsa in a very impressive win. Great hand. The fighter from nearby Belgium, 6'1", 210 pounds. Got that great boxing background. We will see what he can do. He's the more experienced fighter. Yeah, but he's also a fighter. He must feel good in the fight. If he feels good, they can do every, anything. But if you don't feel good, then uh, he, he can make mistakes too. corner very well all the guys uh, there is uh, Samir Benassus there also K2 K1 veteran his father Mickey Benassus so I, I know they always bring real fighters into the ring so I think you can expect them uh, to battle no foul got a nice court a lot of experience behind him be interesting to see what happens. Gentleman who's 11 and 1 against the Katu, who's 52 and 4. A lot more experience, but you never know what could happen in a fight. Just ask us what happened in the last fight, that's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> so here we go Katu and No Foul. No Foul, they call him Iron Leg. Supposed to have great leg shots. We'll see. And the one thing that stands out immediately, no foul, much bigger fighter, 6'5", 234. Katu just 6'1", 209. So he's going to have to give up quite a bit of weight in this fight. Yeah. Katu working inside quickly. Now you can see he already feels, uh, he feels comfortable in the fight as he's. Both fighters filling each other out here in the first round. High kick there, Lance. Oh, nice high kick. Find no foul. And, and you know what? Once again, Ernesto, we, we see guys, they want to use those knees. Yeah. <laughs> you can yeah, see no foul on the landed. Difficult. He had to Especially pull up. Especially if you fight it such for such big crowd. And uh, you're getting kind of nervous and you, you want to, to, to throw the knee. 
They had no foul there. You can see he got in that clinch. Oh, good right hand he lands there. Wanted to land that knee, but no knees allowed in the beautiful country of France. So both fighters have to adjust the entire night. Good body shot. Oh, Good body how shot. about that? Great that combination by no foul. And I right think. now, Katu's in trouble. He needs to get up. Gets up at seven. Boy, good combination there. It Iron might leg. Be second upset. We can see it. You see why they call him Iron Leg. He's got him on the ropes now. Katu's just got to hold on here. Oh, high kick uh, lands. That's it. Forget about it. And no foul. I say, uh, he looked just too comfortable, and uh, this is what happened. They call him Iron Leg for good reason. Wow. Aziz Katu knocked out. How impressive was that? Upset number two. It could be. <laughs> we're we're, wow. we're going to call it the night of upsets right now, the I way it's going. So. <laughs> the man they call Iron Leg shows you why impressive knockout. He moves on to the semifinals. We'll face Yoshida in that semifinal number one. <laughs> Ernesto, let's look at the replay here. Yeah, very nice high kick. I mean, what can I say? Right on the button. Good combination. There was the body shot. There was the kick. Yeah. I mean, that's beautiful. Great combination. Great combination. Dude. Yeah. Good finish. You know, that kick looked I like mean, it got the top of the head. Yeah, but the still. second kick. Did, yeah, but I think he was already hurt by the first kick. Yeah, that one just landed at the top of the head, but he took a left hook as well. Yeah. So the man they call no foul moves on to the semifinal number one impressive knockout over Aziz Katu. Yeah, it's like I said, uh, the the gym he trains with, I know they always come with good fighters, and uh, I think that he proves even people don't know him. <laughs> 